So back at CES 2021, AMD confirmed that they will be introducing more mainstream RDNA 2 graphics cards, including the much-awaited Radeon RX 6700 XT in the first half of 2021. Well, it looks like more info has been confirmed by Hardware Lux's editor, Andreas Schilling. Now, during its official presentation, AMD revealed that we'll have more desktop and mobility GPUs based on RDNA 2 architecture launching in the first half of 2021. AMD didn't specifically state what these new products will be called, but we know from past leaks that AMD has plans to introduce more mainstream options under the $500 US segment. One of its new entrants but will be the Radeon RX 6700 XT GPU, which is expected to feature the AMD Navi 22 GPU. The Navi 22 GPU sits right below the Navi 21 GPU as a more mainstream option. Now, the leaked information suggests that the Radeon RX 6700 GPU will feature 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory capacity. We can expect a 192-bit bus interface. The graphics card is going to be positioned as a 1440p gaming card, whereas the higher-end Navi 21 products are aimed at 4K. AMD also showcased a demo of an unknown Radeon RX 6000 Series M Mobility GPU running Dirt 5 at 1440p and delivering 60fps. It is presumed that the GPU is based on that Navi 22 SKU too since the Navi 21 SKU is just a little bit too power hungry for their mobility segment similar to Nvidia's own GA102 GPU. Finally, we have the specifications for the Radeon RX 6700 series, which do include the Navi 22 XT based RX 6700 XT and the Navi 22 XL based Radeon RX 6700 graphics card. The AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT with the full Navi 22 GPU SKU is expected to feature 40 compute units or 2560 stream processors, while the Radeon RX 6700 series with the Navi 22 XL GPU SKU is expected to feature a cut down configuration. The graphics cards will both feature 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 buffer along that 192 bit bus interface and AMD will most likely use 16 gigabit per second dies which would add a total bandwidth of 384 gigabytes per second for these cards plus what the Infinity Cache can bring to the table. But as with all things in this latest release cycle of hardware, availability is key and does it even really matter if you can't buy it anywhere near MSRP? If you can, great. If you can't, perhaps wait. And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.